Alright guys, coming in, this is where I live. Let's go. Although Cristiano Ronaldo is reportedly in quarantine right now, I'm not sure a seaside mega mansion with your family is the worst place to be isolated. For me, it's not, it's not a problem. You guys requested some videos on athletes, so I figured why not start with one of the richest. Cristiano apparently owns more than one dream house, including an $11 million flat in his native Portugal, a mansion in Marbella, and more. In this video, we'll be looking at the luxury places he likes to call home, as well as his car collection. Cristiano Ronaldo is a professional soccer player or footballer, if you'd rather call it, who hails from Portugal and currently plays forward for Juventus and captains the Portugal national team. Many consider him the best player in the world and one of the greatest players of all time. To be in my shoes is not easy, uh, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not complaining. I just. I just want to say that. I'm feel happy. At the time of this recording, he's 35 years old and he's been with model Georgina Rodriguez since 2016. Although the two had a daughter together in 2017, Cristiano already had three other children prior. Twins via surrogacy earlier that year, as well as a son born in 2010 whose mother's identity has been kept a mystery. How you see in the world, many kids don't have mom. So we'll be like, uh, why it don't happen? Listen, some points in the life, it's private and people have to respect the privacy. Not only is Cristiano one of the most marketable and influential athletes in the world, he's also one of the world's highest paid, last year being number two worldwide according to Forbes. I mean, his current contract does pay him at least 138 mil every four years alone, so it makes sense. I don't think so. I think this is not gonna be the problem. Because if, if you will speak about the money, I will go to Qatar. Maybe probably they have more money than Manchester City, but. It's not about the money, it's about the passion. That being said, the man's estimated net worth is something like 460 mil. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to be looking at the mega mansions Cristiano Ronaldo calls home with his family, even where he's living during his quarantine. And let me tell you, it's pretty fancy. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Vanessa Bryan and Shakira and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. I know some of you have been suggesting athletes houses so let me know which. Now let's get into this video. If you didn't know, Cristiano and his family had to take themselves into isolation for a while like many others, especially since he was at risk through one of his teammates contracting the virus. Thankfully, Georgina has been sharing some photos on her Instagram of where the couple is quarantining themselves and I'm sure they have more than enough toilet paper to go with the mansion. We know that Cristiano and his family are staying in Funchal, Madeira, which is the capital city of the Madeira area in Portugal. It's backed by hills and known for its harbour, garden and famous wine cellars. He recently purchased a seven story house here right on the water and although we don't have all the details, it looks massive. It's reported that Cristiano and his family are staying on the top two floors of the home and that his brother Hugo and his mom Dolores normally live on the lower floors. However, his mom is in the hospital at the moment because of a stroke. We can see Cristiano's home is white and bright with lots of windows and the villa also has an expansive rooftop pool. Not to mention you can see the Atlantic Ocean right when you look outside, as we can see from the photos they posted. We'll hope the whole isolation thing ends quickly, but if I were Cristiano, I'm not sure there's anywhere else I'd rather be anyways. Just last year in 2019, Cristiano actually bought what was the most expensive flat ever sold in the Portuguese capital city of Lisbon. This stunning apartment is located in the Lisbon area of Avenida de Liberdad, which is close to where Cristiano grew up as a child. Cristiano was in a bidding war to buy this luxury flat, but ended up getting it for $11 million US or somewhere around there. Although he's spending more time at his other home in Madeira, in the future it may serve as a home base when he's working. This flat is a sweeping penthouse apartment boasting 3,100 square feet of living space and three large bedrooms. It's designed in a modern luxe way and has an interior featuring marble, stone and wood. There's also all the latest appliances and electronics fitted inside the home. Other features include a spa, an indoor swimming pool, and of course, a full gym. Cristiano has gorgeous views of Lisbon's old city right from his bedroom, and the building is located right by the Eduardo VII Park. Cristiano's properties in Portugal are far from the only real estate he owns. 
Last year, he also decided to purchase a gorgeous vacation mansion in Marbella, Spain, which is a city and resort area on the southern coast. Here you'll find the Sierra Blanca Mountains, Mediterranean beaches, villas, hotels, and much more. Before joining Juventus in 2018, Cristiano spent nine years playing for Real Madrid and living in Spain, so we know he has some ties to the country too. His new high-tech villa is located on the exclusive community called The Heights, set on La Racina Golf and Country Club Estate. It cost Cristiano about 1.6 million US to purchase. This place has an open floor plan full of modern luxury and designed to be sleek. There's a kitchen and two dining areas, one inside and one out, and four bedrooms with walk-in closets. Throughout the home, there are ceiling to floor windows offering views of the Mediterranean as well as high ceilings and floating staircases. Cristiano will also have features such as home movie theater, wine cellar, private gym, and even an LED driveway, perfect for his luxury cars. Outside, there's a gorgeous garden area, sunken fire pit, outdoor lounge, and of course, a large infinity pool. Looks like the perfect getaway to me. Not only does Cristiano love his luxury homes, he's always been into cars too. Sorry. The cheapest one is a Mercedes-Benz C220, and on the other hand, the most expensive is a Bugatti Veyron he got for 1.7 million. Cristiano's car collection is full of sports cars, so it's clear he likes the fastest ones. He also has a Lamborghini Aventador with over 300k, a Bentley GT Speed, an Aston Martin DB9, an Audi R8, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Maserati, and three Ferraris. Not to mention sources say that there are somewhere around 9 more cars which include the likes of more Bentleys, Audis, Mercedes and a few Porsches. Last month, Georgina also gifted Cristiano a new Mercedes G-Wagon Brabus for his 35th birthday, which probably cost over 800k. If you're wondering how much all of Cristiano's cars cost, it's estimated at around 5 million in total. The numbers say everything, so this is I'm very comfortable. So now we've seen a few of Cristiano's properties in Europe, including what we know about the seven-story home he's staying in to wait out this virus with his family in Madeira. Although I think he lives there most of the time, he also owns an $11 million apartment in Lisbon, a vacation getaway in Marbella, Spain, and more. Aside from his current homes, Cristiano also opened his own soccer-themed hotel, also in Madeira, back in 2016. Here there are soccer-themed rooms, photos of Cristiano throughout the place, and it's close to the harbour. You can do a workout he created here at the open air gym, or if you'd rather relax, there's a rooftop infinity pool. Although he invested to make the place luxurious, standard rooms are quite affordable. Sometimes Cristiano even stays at his hotel himself. Sources say Cristiano also invested in an $18.5 million penthouse apartment in none other than New York City some years ago, but if he did, he doesn't spend too much time there. It's located in the Trump Tower on 5th Avenue in Manhattan, and it's definitely fancy. After seeing all of Cristiano's properties, which was your favorite? I wish we could have seen more of the place he's staying now with his family, but I also love the one in Spain. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from past videos. On our Camila Cabello house tour, Arian Pamaran wrote, She's very simple, humble, and based on her house, she is not a materialistic person. A house is a home for her where she can have memories with her family. Love the fact that she knows how to be grateful with her parents by giving them houses. For a 23 year old, she knows what is essential in life and donated most of the time to charity. I think that's what success is. I couldn't agree more Arianne, thanks for your comment. And on the same video, Azura Berry said, she is such a superstar and humble. Love her, the house is amazing. And finally, on our Ozzy Osbourne video, Ohad Allen wrote, great video. All right guys, that's all I could find on the places Cristiano Ronaldo calls home. From his places in his native Portugal to Spain and all over, all of the houses are pretty luxurious. Even the mansions he had before in Italy and Spain that he had and sold were gorgeous. It's clear he likes investing in real estate. Anything you'd like to add? No, thank you guys to be here. For me, it's a pleasure to to show you the what did you guys like best about his homes? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!